Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a bash script with some examples. Now bash is a Unix command line interface for interacting with the operating system available for Linux and Mac OS. The bash scripts help group commands to create a program. So we can group together some of the commands which are related to each other and that's going to create a program. All instructions that run from the terminal work in bash scripts as well and bash scripting is a crucial tool for system administrators and developers and this scripting it helps automate repetitive tasks and interact with the os through custom instruction combinations the skill is simple to learn and requires only basic terminal commands to get started with so without any further ado let's learn how to write a bash script First of all, we need to open our terminal. So just hit Control Alt plus T. Here we have the terminal. Let me just maximize it. And to, to start with bash scripting, we first have to create a file using a text editor. So if you are having Vim text editor, you can use it. And if you don't have Vim text editor on your computer, then in one of my videos, I have explained how to download and install Vim text editor. The link is in the description of this video. You can go ahead and install Vim text editor. And if you don't want to use Vim, you can use any other text editor. That's totally up to you. So the first command I'll write is Vim space script dot sh. This is going to create a file with the name script and the extension for bash scripts is .sh. However, this extension is not necessary. Adding the .sh makes the file easy to understand and identify and maintain. That's the only reason I'm adding this .sh. So then hit enter. So it shows command vim not found, but can be installed with. So if vim is not present on your computer, you can just quickly install vim from this command. Just copy it and then we can here just paste it and then run it. And if you want to see a detailed video on what is a Vim text editor and how to install it, then there's another video of mine which you can open up and have a look. The link is in the description of this video. Now, once the installation of Vim is complete, we can run the same command again that is Vim space script.sh. And uh, this time the Vim text editor is going to open up and uh, it's a new file with the name script and has an extension .sh. The first line in bash scripts is a character sequence which is known as shebang. The shebang is the program loader's first instruction when executing the file and the characters indicate which interpreter to run when reading this particular script. So let's add shebang for this script. So I'll just write hash and if you're also getting error like this, no string under cursor, I just pressed the hash key and I'm getting this error, no string under cursor. So then just hit escape key to go to menu, then press I to go to the insert text mode. Now you can see the insert mode is active. Now we can just type hash, then exclamation mark, then forward slash bin then forward slash bash now this hash exclamation mark directs the program loader to load an interpreter for the code in the file and then this forward slash bin forward slash hash is the bash interpreters location and then just hit enter and the shebang has been added now if you want you can add some comments here comment are the lines that do not execute but they are just to help and make the code more readable after the shebang let's add a comment to explain what the script is so i'll just use hash and then we can just write a simple bash script then after that we have to write the main code as an example let's create a script to update and uh, upgrade the system to do that i'll just write sudo space apt space update space hyphen y hyphen y is going to if there is any prompt during the update process which may need the 
input from the user either yes or no in that case this hyphen y will already provide it with the yes so this is the first line then let the second line be sudo space apt space upgrade space hyphen y then again hit enter and then finally we can echo one message like we can update the user like we can display to the user that the update or the upgrade has been done so this hyphen y the bash interpreter reads each line and executes the update command followed by the upgrade command and this dash y tag automatically answers yes to any prompt brought up by the two instructions which means if while doing the update if there is any prompt during the update process asking the user to either enter yes or no in that case the hyphen y tag automatically answers all such prompts and then finally the program is going to print update done sorry update done now let's just save and exit add a new line first then escape now we have to type colon w and then enter and you can see script.sh six line 92 byte written then finally we can just exit it to exit we have to type colon q this is to quit the vim text editor you can see we have exited the text editor now we can finally run our bash script to run it just type bash space script dot sh you can see the update command is executing after the update is done the upgrade command will execute you can see that our script has successfully completed execution and at the end we got this message update done that we used echo command to display this update done message and it has been displayed correctly so by following the steps in this tutorial you should have a simple script to update and upgrade the system now you can customize the script further to create new scripts that does something different so i hope you learned something new from this video so if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching